Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, right triangle uh, ABC along with this uh, angle bisector uh, AD, as you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, this angle uh, BAD is uh, alpha, and likewise this angle uh, CAD is uh, alpha as well. And as a result, we are ended up with this uh, yellow shaded uh, triangle uh, ACD. Moreover, uh, this segment uh, BD is uh, 6 units, whereas this side uh, AC is uh, 15 units. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, yellow shaded triangle uh, ACD. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And in this video, I am going to share with you with three different approaches. So therefore, please watch the video till the very end. And here's our very first method. And now let's recall the angle bisector theorem. Here we got a triangle with this uh, angle bisector. With this side being uh, lowercase a, this side being lowercase b. This segment is uh, c and this segment is uh, lowercase d. Then according to this uh, theorem, we got a proportion A divided by B is going to be equal to C divided by D. And here I'm going to label uh, this side as uh, lowercase a, this side uh, lowercase b, this segment uh, lowercase d, and this segment uh, lowercase d. Then our lowercase c value is going to be 6 and lowercase b value has got to be 15. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So we can write down A divided by B value is 15 is going to be equal to C value is 6 uh, divided by lowercase d. And now we are going to cross multiply. So therefore we can write uh, A times uh, D equals to 90. And I'm going to label this one as our equation number 1. And now let's focus on this uh, yellow shaded triangle uh, ACD. And we are going to calculate the area of this uh, yellow triangle. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area is always equal to a half times uh, base times the height. And in our case, uh, the base uh, of this uh, yellow triangle is uh, lowercase uh, d, whereas the height of this uh, yellow triangle uh, is uh, lowercase a. So therefore, uh, the yellow triangle area is going to be a half times our base uh, is uh, lowercase d and the height is uh, lowercase uh, a. And we can write the right hand side as uh, a times uh, d divided by 2. And now let's focus on this uh, equation 1. We know our uh, a times d value is uh, 90. So I'm going to substitute that value over uh, here. So therefore, uh, we are ended up with the 90 divided by 2 and that is going to give us uh, 45 uh, square units. So thus the area of this uh, yellow shaded triangle turns out to be 45 uh, square units by using the very first method. And now here is our second method. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ABD. And let's make an observation. We can see this angle is uh, alpha and this angle is alpha as well. Both angles are congruent. And I am going to fold uh, this uh, right triangle uh, ABD this way. As you can see in this uh, next step. And here we are ended up with this uh, right triangle uh, AED. This angle being uh, 90 degrees. So therefore we conclude that these two right triangles uh, AED and the other right triangle ABD are our uh, congruent triangles according to angle side angle congruency theorem. And since uh, these uh, two right triangles are our congruent uh, triangles, so therefore we conclude that this uh, segment uh, BD is going to be equal to this segment uh, DE. If this segment uh, BD is uh, 6 units, then this uh, DE segment uh, has got to be 6 units as well. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, yellow shaded triangle uh, ACD. 
And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula once again. Area equals to a half times the base times the height. And here we can see for this uh, yellow triangle, this side uh, AC is the base of this uh, triangle. Whereas uh, this uh, DE is the height of uh, this uh, triangle. So therefore this uh, yellow triangle area is going to be a half uh, times uh, our base uh, is uh, 15 times the height uh, is 6. And if we simplify the right hand side that is going to give us uh, 45 uh, square uh, units. Uh, so thus the area of this uh, yellow shaded triangle turns out to be 45 square units by using the second method uh, as well. And now I'm going to share with you the third method. And here's our very first step. Let's focus uh, on this uh, angle bisector AD. I'm going to label this angle bisector AD as uh, X. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle ABD. And now let's recall this famous uh, trigonometric ratio. Sine of theta is always equal to opposite side uh, divided by the hypotenuse. So therefore, for our this angle uh, alpha, this uh, side BD is going to be our uh, opposite uh, side, whereas uh, this uh, AD is the hypotenuse. So therefore, we are going to have a sine of uh, our angle alpha is going to be equal to our opposite side is 6 uh, divided by our hypotenuse is uh, x. And now I'm going to remove this fraction by multiplying on the right hand side and the left hand side uh, as well. And here we can see this x uh, and x is gone. So therefore uh, we can write uh, this uh, x uh, times uh, sine of angle alpha is going to be equal to 6. And I'm going to label this one as our equation number 2. And here's our next step. Let's focus now on this uh, yellow shaded triangle uh, ACD. And we are going to calculate the area of this uh, yellow shaded triangle. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area is always equal to a half times uh, A times B times sine of angle C, as you can see in this uh, given triangle. Here we got uh, these two sides, uh, A and B of this uh, triangle and C is the angle in between. So therefore for this uh, yellow triangle this uh, is our angle alpha and the two sides are x and 15. So therefore the area of this uh, yellow shaded triangle ACD is going to be a half times uh, our one side uh, is 15 the other side is x times sine of uh, our angle uh, alpha and here I am going to chunk uh, this part x times sine of alpha and I am going to chunk this part as well I can write it uh, as 15 divided by 2 so therefore I can write this one as uh, 15 divided by 2 times uh, x uh, times sine of angle uh, alpha and now let's make an observation from equation 2 our x times sine of uh, angle alpha is 6. So therefore, I'm going to substitute that value 6 uh, over here. So therefore, I can write this one as uh, 15 divided by 2 times uh, 6. And if I simplify everything, that is going to give us uh, 45 uh, square uh, units uh, as well. So thus the area of this uh, yellow shaded triangle ACD turns out to be 45 square units by using the third method as well. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.